A quick look at um, VW Turbo Kit's Low Bug It's 1600T kit. This particular one has the Chromex finish. Notice it's the shiny finish. It's an inch and three eighths primary piping, which is typically used on a smaller motor, 1600s all the way up to about a uh, 2054 cc motor. It's got our Pro Power wastegate on there. It's got the boost controller hooked up right now. This is the way we actually ship the kits, and we purposely mock them up completely, just so we know everything lines up, everything fits. The kit automatically comes with a Pro Billet distributor already locked out for you, which is just basically so you don't have an advancing ignition system. Typically, draw through turbo systems with their long runners do not need an advancing uh, ignition system or would benefit from one that already has a lot of ignition timing built into it. This particular one's got a uh, upgrade on it. It's got our T3-T4 hybrid turbo. This particular one I believe is a 63... oh it's a 58. 58 exhaust housing, T04E compressor. It's got the Holley 500 carburetor. So this particular customer got a couple upgrades. You can see that everything comes ceramic coated. This is the polished ceramic. Then we have the black ceramic. The carburetor we use is boost sensitive. This is your idle jet. Your other idle jet right there. This is your main jet. This is your float adjustment with a float sight hole. So you can just see where the level is at, and you would adjust it here. Your accelerator adjustment with your accelerator pump cam, which is basically determines how fast the rate it opens. This determines when and how fast. And then you're obviously your idle speed, which just opens the butterfly for at idle. It's a very basic carburetor, very easy to tune, very easy to set up. The great thing about it is you can buy gaskets at your local auto parts store for these things so it's not um, like a web or something like that unfortunately we gotta it's a little difficult chasing it down the gaskets or rebuild kits or anything like that you will actually never take apart the carburetor to change jets because there is no jets because of the main jet using a, a turbo adjusted jet it actually if you want to rich it up or lean it out you just turn a jet because it is boost sensitive it actually has a normal idle circuit so it doesn't load up like the old time problems with uh, typically when you run Hollies. The power valve system is actually sprung shut and not sprung open. We give you the stainless steel line with all the fittings. The, T, um, the hybrid turbo actually requires a billet backing plate. We have our own line of backing plates. Solid billet. This particular system doesn't have right now the oil drain line fitting ran, but we give you all the um, the fittings and the hose clamps, everything you need for there. Same thing with all the boots. You know, this particular system goes two inch to inch and three eighths primaries, and then back out to inch and five eighths, so it fits the stock in casting. This particular customer is getting in castings and he got them polished. That is an option. Other options you can get are polished intake manifold, polished compressor, ceramic coated exhaust housing. Obviously none of these items are done like that right now. You can also get the wastegate ceramic coated. The kit does come with the wastegate dump pipe already ceramic coated. And of course, like all the piping. The neat thing about our headers is all the piping inside and out is ceramic coated. The oil line receives its oil from the factory location where your oil pressure switch is located. We give you the T fitting so you can still run your stock factory switch.
This particular system will be good for about 325 to 350 horse. The carburetors will support about 350 horse at normal boost. The turbos will do about 300 to 325 at normal boost. Again, this is a standard 1600T with turbo and carburetor upgrade.